So I want to take this moment to talk a little bit then about melatonin supplementation. And my personal feeling is if you're getting enough sleep at night and you have no issues, you feel great. You're eating right. You're eating mm -hmm. right. You probably have great melatonin levels. Right. Mm -hmm. Supplementation should be considered if you think your levels might be low. Because again, you don't want them too high. Mm -hmm. You want them in that little box. So let's go through some of the things. Number one, you can't rely on the dose being what it says in the bottle all the time. Sometimes things sold as a supplement, I said before, it's not regulated. Right. So you don't really know. Number two, melatonin has been reported to increase breast size in men and decrease sperm count and motility. Some people say that. I just, just reading you the facts. Right. <laughs> Number three, don't take it if you're pregnant or trying to become pregnant. Yep. It may increase the risk of birth defects. Okay. And a, a fourth potential, melatonin may cause problems with blood clotting and should be avoided by patients taking blood thinners or who have clotting disorders. So melatonin supplementation, you know, European countries consider it a prescription med. They regulate right. it. What much, do you guys much think? Much more highly regulated over there. And that's one thing, especially in kids. A lot of parents, even in kids that uh, should have normal levels, they're still using it a lot. And even though it's considered safe over here, I, I just am nervous about the lack of long-term studies in kids, yeah. and if you know your teenager or younger child uh, is not sleeping well, I don't think that's the what? answer. But you know, there's some natural uh, sources of melatonin, and I think that's probably the best way to do that. Well, I talked to uh, our favorite sleep specialist, Dr. Michael Bruce, and he actually yeah. gave me a recipe for his sleep smoothie. Ooh, you have a blender right here. Yeah, let's make a smoothie I wonder here. the one we can drink can, can, I, can I drink it and go yeah. to sleep already? Go ahead. Wow. Okay. The ingredients are right. First, good. cherry juice. Cherries is one of the richest sources. Uh, of melatonin, so that's great. Uh, it's gonna have bananas, which is a low fat, magnesium right. in there, it's a very calming effect. It's a great late night snack. Um, some soy milk, which actually has an amino acid in there that your body uses to make serotonin, which is a very calming effect on the brain. So you put those all these things together. All right. There we go. And voila. <laughs> Cheers, Jim. Cheers. Cheers.